Give us a quick rundown of what's going on where we're at. So we were about to get on the train to Frankfurt and as far as we could tell we were all good until they informed us that uh, the bags, the bikes need to be in bags or broken down. So I think the biggest challenge of train travel so far has just been like finding any sort of information about traveling with bikes. Um, sometimes you show up, they make it work for you or you make it work and sometimes you show up like today and uh, you get skunked which happened <laughs> and now we're in line trying to figure out how to get there just wanted to walk back and like as we walked past the second time all right <laughs> we have a solution <laughs> um, we're back in the saddle again yeah so we got to get this one we've got our bikes on here this goes to Strasbourg, and then he gave me yeah Oh boy, Eric. What a, what a freaking trip. Well, oh, yeah. I mean, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. No, it, it's worked out just fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, Our I, I just got yelled at by security. Sick. Uh, but that was my bad. So For leaving the bikes. Sorry, security. Yeah, for, for stressing them out. My bad. Oh well. What are you going to do? Train. Uh, 27. Boom. I was right, but that's also my seat. <laughs> oh, that's confusing. <laughs> okay. So I was right, yeah. but for the wrong reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of been our MO this whole, this whole right trip. Right for the wrong reasons. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm really. I was. I was getting. I was stealing myself to like bike, uh, 700 miles, in the next seven days, to uh, pet Pekka. That's really the only solution. Other hey, than this. it clearly works. Possibly even better than what we're doing. So who knows. Uh, but no, we're, we're yeah, getting there. Our boy Matthew is further along than us. Like by a significant margin. He is probably mentally in a different place. Yeah. But he's further. He, uh, so good for him. he, he probably didn't get to hang out in um, Paris all day yesterday. Yeah, we're lazy. Presumably. Heck. departing Paris this morning and getting to the train station, having pre-purchased train tickets for the first time in our history, got there and scanned our ticket and this woman came up and said, no, no bikes. You cannot take bikes to Frankfurt on this train assembled. Uh, well, Eric had his bag. We still would have missed the train anyways because we wouldn't have been able to disassemble them in time to get on that train. Regardless, that was a no-go. We were, however, able to catch a train to Strasbourg, which is on the border with Germany. That's uh, still in France. Uh, and we are now aiming to probably ride our bikes this afternoon. It's about six o'clock right now to Offenburg, which is just across the border in Germany. Um, and then start taking like local trains from that train station over towards Liagang, maybe throw in some biking in there. Uh, we're not quite sure at this point, but basically our goal is to probably get to Offenburg tonight if we can find uh, accommodations there. That's just an hour and a half bike ride, so no big deal. Uh, or we could catch a train there in the morning at like 9.20. Um, but it would be nice to get a little biking in, so we're kind of leaning towards that. Eric's over here eating his sandwich that we prepared this morning on a French baguette. 
and our Airbnb was uh, not accepted. Not accepted, okay. So we're gonna get a different one. So we're on to the next thing. We're figuring this out as we go. We'll let you know. Just, the trades have been good. We are we're just, just doing it wrong. We're figuring it out yeah. as we go. And uh, if you didn't have a bike, it would be the easiest thing ever. Yeah. And then it's still not too bad with a bike. Yeah. It's still easier than flying with a bike. That's for sure. Yeah. We have we have just walked onto every train we've taken with two fully loaded down like huge bikes. These things. Like These way bigger things. than a bike should be. Has any right to be. Uh, so it's working out. We're getting there. One step at a time. One step at a time. We're um, almost in Germany. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> then the next country is Austria, and then that's where we're racing. Cool. Yeah. Let's uh, let's do it. I guess. <laughs> How you feeling, Derek? Feeling good. We're, uh, we're back in the saddle again. Back in the saddle. My saddle is comfortable. I've got my AliExpress chamois on. What more could you ask for? We're, we're riding the German countryside. <laughs> and off we go. tonight tomorrow we're gonna start biking across the Austrian Alps across the whole country of Austria to the Slovenian border 
which is on the south, will be on the north, sort of roughly. We're going uh, southeast, and uh, we're going to start like a three-day bicycle touring adventure, which will be a departure from what we've been doing, which is primarily traveling by train, uh, with some little bicycle link-ups in between. So uh, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that. Eric's looking for lodging for us tonight. I think at a hostel, so I'm gonna go check in with him uh, and get that sorted out. <laughs> so, thirteen percent beer. <laughs> because we were uh, had twenty minutes to spare at the start of this, um, I ran into a store to get a beer, and then I had a second burrito from last night uh, that I hadn't eaten. Eric ate his, so I got him a little salami sandwich. Um, Which is going to get me through this booking process. <laughs> he, seemed, he seemed like a hungry boy, so I figured he could probably use a good salami baguette. Um, but uh, I was like one person back in line, and I was still feeling rushed, so I didn't want to go get another one. And I noticed that that says 13.5% extra which at the time I was like, oh my God, does that mean that's a 13 and a half percent like light German beer? And then I was like, well, that's actually maybe not a bad thing because I don't want to have to pee a bunch. So maybe a 13 and a half percent beer would be good. But uh, Eric Ever, the uh, engineer, smarty pants, pointed out that it's probably just 13 and a half percent larger. Which is still very German that they <laughs> calculated that exactly. <laughs> They go to the line to show you where it normally would be. Okay, yeah, that's my 13.5%. Um, Alright, we'll come back to you here in a bit after this sandwich eating and beer drinking. hour before our three-day push to uh, the other side of Austria. Yeah, we're going to cross Austria in the next three days uh, and sleep in ditches probably. So that concludes the public transit part of our trip and now we get into the there's no public transit available part of our trip. Just uh, some, some Austrian Alps to deal with. Exactly. No big deal. Yeah but some crazy views. I mean, did you see the mountains when we were just rolling in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those are aggressive. We haven't seen mountains like that so far until today. Yeah. Cool. Really? Let's uh, get to this Airbnb and try and get a good night's sleep for full full day of riding tomorrow. <laughs> 